Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this KitchenAid semi-automatic espresso machine with milk frother. This retails for $280. I was able to get it on sale for about $220. I've got it paired with the KitchenAid burr grinder that I absolutely love. I've got another review on this burr grinder. This is what I'm gonna be using with this espresso machine. Okay, so this espresso machine comes with this milk frother, but it also comes with this steam wand. So you can just put the steam wand on, snap it into place, and then you can just steam your milk because it comes with the steaming milk jug, or you can put the automatic milk frother on there. Now to remove the steam wand, there is a button you're gonna press right here, and then that'll pop off. And then the automatic milk frother, you're just simply gonna, that same tube right there, you're just gonna snap it in right there. And then when you wanna remove it, press that button and it comes off okay so let's talk about this milk frother real quick so you're gonna put the milk back here this is the milk tube they call and you should be able to take this on and off and put this in the refrigerator when you've got milk in it but I have found that you've got to take the tube. so if the tube is still in there and you try to take this on and off it can be a little tricky so sometimes you do have to take the take the tube out so that you can put this on and off now over here, this is just like a cover. There's nothing that really goes in here. I've never found anything gets in here, so it's just kind of like a cover. Underneath here, this is where the milk is gonna come out, the froth milk, so that just pokes up in there. So the, this is like a little handle so you don't burn yourself. So that port goes up in there. And again, this is just like a cover. Now we do have a selector knob. We can do hot water, we can do hot milk, or we can do froth. And up here, this is the froth adjustment knob. Now, what I like to do is start all the way over to the right. It, it's kind of tight. And then you're gonna slowly back it off to get more, more air into the milk. But be careful, you can unscrew this all the way. And you're only gonna be, so just start off to the far right and then just kind of back it off a little bit. That's where you're gonna be adjusting it, right in there. And then this is just a cover for the milk. So I have used whole milk, 2% milk, skim milk, almond milk, all that kind of milk works in this milk frother. And you can fill it all the way up to this max line right here. So again, in theory, after you're done making your drink, you should be able to lift this whole assembly off and take this to the refrigerator. But I've found that this catches a little bit. So I have to remove the whole milk tube, put the lid back on. Now I can take this whole assembly, put this in the refrigerator for the next time. Then when you're ready, just put it back on. It slides in this little track and then put my tube back in. So again, you're just going to slide it in until it kind of clicks into this area right here. And there is a button for releasing it right there. There's that button. And then there's the espresso brew shower head. Round back, it's got a nice big water tank and there is an on off switch. So turn it to the line that is on. Now what's nice is you can leave the power switch on. This will power down automatically. And then when you want to wake it, you just got to hit a button up here. Okay, so it does come with a drip tray. The drip tray is very important. This does fill up with a lot of hot water, so be careful. It's got a little red indicator light that's gonna pop up to let you know that it's full. And it gets full after about, oh, after about four or five drinks, this is gonna really start to get full, so be careful. Okay, so it comes with a really nice porta filter. Now the porta filter sits flat. I really do like that so that you can tamp really easy. This is a very nice tamper. Also, it's got some weight to it. Now you've got four of these filters. Now, they, these two are double shots and they look the same, but if you look at the bottom, this one's kind of concave a little bit, but it's only got one hole. This is for pre-ground espresso grounds coffee. This is for freshly ground co uh, coffee that you grind at an espresso. And this is the single shot, same thing. So the single hole is for pre-ground and this is for when you grind your own espresso that day. But I have found if you're having problems with these, Sometimes the shot's not coming out correctly. Just switch over to these. These do seem to work the best. Even when I've freshly grind my coffee, sometimes I find using these work the best. And so the filters, they fit in there very nice, nice and snug. Again, and the tamper fits in there just right. So we're gonna be making some espresso. Okay, so let's go ahead and snap. There is this little notch down here that kind of guides it a little bit too. Let's snap the milk frother on. Okay, so let's talk about the control panel. Over here, you're gonna select espresso. That means that you're gonna do an espresso. If you press this, this is steam, but it also turns the milk frother on. So if you've got, if you've got the steam wand on, steam's gonna come out this steam, but also if you've got 
the milk frother on, it's going to direct steam through and you're going to be able to use the milk frother according to what you have here. So if we want froth, we're going to put it on this right here and steam. Now, if you want hot water, this does do hot water. Hot water will come out this tube right here, but you got to turn this selector all the way over to here and then you'll get hot water coming out of here. Now, nothing happens until I press this like play button. That's the start button. Now what you're hearing is the machine will randomly, the pump will turn on and you might get a little steam coming out of your drip tray. That is normal. That's just heating the water up. And you may have noticed that these lights were flashing. That means it's not ready yet. It has to heat that water to an internal temperature before it's ready to start. But none of that takes too long at all. Now, when we're over here, we got espresso, we got a single and a double shot. That's what that is. And same with the milk frother. You can either do when you've got it on the steam and you've got the milk frother installed, that's, a, that's like four ounces of milk or six ounces of milk. Same with the water. When you've got it on water, now see it's not doing anything, but I've got some steam and the pump's coming out. Um, it's got four or six ounces of wa hot water that'll come out that tube. Now this is the clean light. So when this starts to flash, that means it's time to clean your machine. And then there's that cleaning function is this button right here. Again, this is the start. It does automatically stop, but if you want to stop it before it's, it's done finished, press that button again and that will stop it. So let's go back to espresso. Now again, this is, this is an automatic machine as far as it'll do the espresso. Then you've got to switch this button over to steam and then it'll froth the milk in there. Okay, so since I've got some fresh coffee beans, I'm going to be using the fresh coffee bean uh, filter for the double shots. We'll just snap it in there. So the manual does talk about these, they call it the single wall and the double wall. The double wall is for pre-ground coffee. And it talks about using grams, uh, 18 to 20 grams for the double shot, 10 to 12 grams for the single shot. Now I have measured this out. So this KitchenAid, when you've got it on two shots, it does do, um, it does exactly 18 grams. And when you've got it on one shot, it does exactly 10 grams. So it does just the right amount. Now, the one thing I have found with this machine is it doesn't like super finely ground espresso. So over here, I've got this selector here. I can go all the way up to, to 70. And that is a really, really fine grind. For some espresso machines, that works. But for this one, it does not work the best. When you put it in, it's just kind of the espresso is kind of dripping out. I have found that around, around 60. Again, we're still in the espresso range. We just got a lot of, of different adjustments. That seems to be the perfect amount to get a nice espresso. Okay, so let's get our coffee. Now the display in real life, it's nice and solid. That's just in the video, it's doing that. But be real careful, you'll get used to this. Now there's kind of a mound there, but there's how the grind should be. That's how it should look. Now I am using the Lava Laza here. I've also used the blue Lava Laza, the Super Crema and the Espresso. I've even used the Cafe Bastilio and it works good. This is a can that comes already ground at an espresso grind. This is not ground at a medium grind like a normal coffee, it's ground at a and a fine grind that comes that way. Okay, so again, take your tamper, kind of make a mound, a nice even mound. Then you're gonna give it a nice even tamp and kind of turn it. Just turn it a little bit, a nice even tamp. You're gonna have some excess here. You just gotta wipe the excess off. So again, when we put it up there, we really don't want any coffee grounds right here, but that's what it should look like, right? Like that. Okay, so there are a couple things you can do. You can run a, a single shot through the filter before you put espresso in it, but you wanna make sure you dry it off really good. And we can run a single shot. That kind of warms up the shower head and the filter basket. But so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put it in here and start off at an angle, right like that. You gotta turn it all the way over here to the lock. Now some espresso machines that comes out, this one goes all the way over to the right here. Okay, so I've got it on espresso, double shot and hit the play button. Now that if your if your coffee is ground too fine, that'll be drips instead of running out like that. 
That is just right. And that ends up being about a 160 degree espresso shot. Again, the grind is gonna be so important. So there's my double shot espresso. Now again, that's super bitter. I cannot drink that just like that. I have to add my um, steamed milk. Let's turn the selector all the way over here to um, frothing. Let's hit the, now you gotta select steam because that's what it's gonna use. It's gonna use steam in this milk frother to produce froth. Um, let's just do a single shot, which is four ounces of milk. And let's hit the play button. Now again, those lights are flashing, so it's not gonna be ready quite yet. Those will have to go steady. Then it'll start automatically because I already hit the play button. And make sure this is directed into your cup. Okay, so again, I can control this. If, now, if I turn it too far, it kind of really spits the froth out a bunch. But that's adding more air to the milk, making it kind of airy. Now this will stop automatically, but if, say your cup's getting too full, just press the stop button and it'll stop. Okay, so there it stops. And you do get some steam coming out of the... So there's your drink. Again, this is still pretty bitter for me. I have to add a little bit of um, syrup or, or some white chocolate uh, mocha sauce or something. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of white chocolate. Again, that'll take away all the bitterness. The milk will help but then add about two tablespoons of this and it tastes delicious. Now this has cooled off a little bit, but at the very beginning I've checked that you have about a 145 degree cappuccino. So again, there's what the drink looks like. Okay, so let's take this off now. You're just gonna rotate this. There's the shot. I do have a knock box here. I think that does help. And there's the puck that comes out. Okay, so let's take some measurements. There's a few areas that you're gonna need to know about how big a cup. So with that milk wand is about three and a quarter. You know, you can put about a three and a half size cup because it can go up underneath there. But now under the porta filter is about a four and a half. And the drip tray does have to stay installed. You cannot remove it. And just by doing these few drinks, you can see that red thing's coming up. This, be careful, let's take the drip tray out. Now we gotta go empty this, but you gotta be very careful. It's got hot water in there. Okay, so let's try the hot water function. Push this, over. that's the third spot is hot water now. Select hot water on this and press play. Now we did get just a little bit of milk out first and then it's gonna become fresh water. So this is also a good way to kind of clean that steam wand a little bit. And again, when you got it on one, that's four ounces of hot water. When you got it on two, that's six ounces of hot water and it will stop automatically. Okay, so it did stop. Now again, if I wanted, this does have a little bit of milk in it because I just did some frothing, but now if I did it, it would be fresh water. Okay, so let's do a single shot. I've got the single shot a filter in here. Again, it's got the single hole, so that means it's for pre-ground coffee. I've got this Cafe Bastilio. Again, this is espresso ground coffee that you can buy in a can that's already ground. And it takes about, it does come with this little scoop. It takes about two of these scoops for a single Right about there, maybe just a little bit more. So again, the official way to do it is to zero, put this on a scale, zero the scale with everything installed, and then you're gonna fill it up, again, until you get about 10 to 12 grams. So again, one scoop was five. And now we're at nine, so just a, you can see two scoops was just right. There's. There should be 10, I could go just a little bit more. Okay, so that's right in the middle, that's 11 grams of espresso. Okay, so there you can see what it looks like before we tamp it. Now you're gonna get your tamper. And I like to tamp it and then kind of turn it just a little bit there. And see, we didn't get very much at all on the ears and that is ready to go. Okay, so you're gonna put it in, turn it all the way over to here. We're gonna go back to espresso and a single shot. The lights aren't flashing, so it should be ready to go.
So you end up with about 165 coming out. That's a single shot, you can see. Again, if it's too finely ground, you'll get just big drip, 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 drip. But you want that nice steady stream. That means the coffee is ground just right. There's my single shot. You know, 145. And again, that's by using this right out of a can. Okay, so let's say we wanna add a little bit more milk to it this time. Let's go to the steam function. Let's go to the two and let's turn the selector back to froth. And hit, now see the lights are flashing. That means it's not ready. It's gotta get the steam up to a certain temperature before those will turn solid. And you'll see some steam coming out of the drip tray. That's okay. We can press the play button. It will start whenever it warms up. It doesn't take more than five seconds. Now again, I can adjust this by turning this. I'm gonna turn it to more. But see, it really starts spitting sometimes, so I have to back it off. So let's turn it all the way to no steam, no, um, there it should be more of just hot milk. But again, if I turn it a little bit, it'll start making some air with it. And since I've got it on two, it's gonna add six ounces of milk to that cup. But again, if I see that it's gonna overflow, just hit the stop button. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the stop button. Yeah, so having the appropriate size cup is gonna be very important. Yeah, so this one I added way too much milk to it. Okay, so let's do the warm milk. Let's turn the selector to the middle position I got it on steam because it has to use steam to make that. Now let's just toggle it back to one. That'll be four ounces of hot milk and then hit the, so I got this here and just hit the play. So the lights are flashing. That means it's heating everything up and then it'll start. Okay, so here comes the hot milk. So the hot milk that it's making is about 126 degrees. Again, it will stop automatically. Again, that's about, oh, about six ounces. There's the hot milk. Okay, let's take this off. Let's see how the single shot did. Yeah, it did okay. Again, I like to use the tamper box. the puck came out okay so let's say I'm finished for the day once in a while it is a good idea to run so we're not gonna put the porta filter on do a single shot let's go to espresso and hit play that's just gonna run hot water through the shower head there will be a bunch of coffee grounds that help clean that so that's just a good way to clean the shower head again you will see a bunch of coffee grounds that's normal you can take a towel and wipe that but be very careful that shower head is very warm and I also like to clean this. So let's turn this to hot water, press the hot water. Let's go three clicks to hot water, then press the play. That's gonna run hot water through that tube and kind of clean it. Okay, so now here's what milk I have left. I can put this in the refrigerator. Now in theory, you should be able to just lift this up and it comes off, but it kind of catches here a little bit. So I have found that it helps. It's a good idea just to take the milk tube off. Kind of, You may have to clean the milk tube every time. Then you can take this off, put the lid on it, and then put this whole thing in the refrigerator. It is designed for this to stay installed, and then you can store the tube right there. Okay, so let's take the milk frother apart again. Press this button, and it's just gonna come off to the side here. Now we can take this milk frother all apart. Again, there's that tube. This comes out the back. You can see there's still some milk in there, so it's gonna be a good idea that we clean this. This comes off again. Nothing really going on inside here. It's just kind of like a cover. Be careful, this could be hot, but we're gonna pull that out. Now this knob here is designed to come out, but turn it all the way to the left. Pull it straight out. This, unscrew this all the way. 
and it comes straight out. Then you're gonna take this, the silver part, it just kind of rotates up. You can see there's some milk in here. We need to clean all this sometimes. Then push this down. This whole big rubber assembly comes out. I can take this over to the sink and give it a good washing. I may even have to wash just a little bit in here, but this is as far as it comes apart right here. Okay, so I've got it all rinsed off. Let's put it back together. You're gonna just, you, it kind of only goes one way. You're just gonna kind of take this piece, push it up, grab the silver piece. It kind of start at the top and rotate down. And you can take this knob, put it in, then turn it. Same with this, put this in, screw this in. Again, take this, that part right there is gonna go right there. There's the cover. This goes around back like this. And then the tube goes in here like that. And again, it was designed for that to store the tube right like that. And then they do also show, you don't have to use that container that comes with it. You can just put the tube in, um, you can put the tube in some fresh water and run fresh water all the way through the machine like it was milk. That will clean it one way also. And you can put this in like, say if you got a, a gallon of, or a, like a little milk jug, you can just put this into the milk jug or whatever, you, like skim milk or oat milk, and it'll draw it through there. Okay, so I really do like this espresso machine, but it did take a while to dial in. The biggest thing was I was grinding the espresso too fine. And when it's too fine, again, I was getting big drips, big drips of espresso. It didn't taste very good. It wasn't flowing out of there like it should. That took about five or six trials. So when you're setting this up with your coffee and your grinder, it may take a little bit. Don't get discouraged. Just kind of back off your grind a little bit, get towards a more coarser grind. And then even though, say you're, you're grinding your old coffee and you're using this one, don't be afraid to use this one with the single hole. I did find that this one kind of was more forgiving. If I didn't get the grind quite right, when I was using this one, it did work a little bit better. And to be honest with you, I really didn't taste the difference between these two. But what really shocked me is how these shots are exactly the correct amount you need for this machine. So when I had two, when I was on two shots, it was 18 grams. And when I went to one shot, it was 10 grams. And that's set with the defaults that come with this machine. Now this is sort of a plastic. I, I almost wish I would have got, they have a metal one. I think the red metal one with this would have been absolutely, would have looked gorgeous. I do like this one. It's a little cheaper because it's got a kind of a plastic finish. And one thing I did forget, this does get warm up here. So you can put your, um, your cups up here. This does get really nice and warm. Okay, so let's put the milk frothing wand in. Let's take this off. Again, it comes with this, this nice jug. I really do like it. Let's go to steam right there. Let's go to the one or two is not lit since I don't have the milk frothing thing installed. It's flashing, but when, I'm re when it stops flashing, I'll be ready to steam. Okay, so be ready. Just hold this underneath the, the surface of the milk. So it, it's producing a lot of steam, so be careful. And you can kind of keep on the eye how hot your milk's getting by kind of touching it, but be careful, you can burn yourself this way too. So it's getting really, really hot. Then hit the stop button when you're ready. So it did a good job. He, it was actually pretty quick. And it made some nice, good foam and some hot milk. Now let's run some water through the steam. Let's go to water and one. Okay, so it stopped flashing. We got it on water. Let's press that. So we're getting nice hot water out the milk wand now. And that will stop automatically since the one and two are lit. I've got it on one, which is about four to six ounces of hot water. 
Yeah, and always have a, a wet rag ready. Be careful. Uh, that is really hot, but it is a good idea to keep that wand nice and clean because now the milk is already sticking to it. But if you get your towel nice and soaking wet, it will clean that steam wand off. So again, I really did like this. It, it, this espresso machine probably took the longest to dial in of, of any espresso machine I had. I, I do think it's on the higher end market. Um, the, when you're dialing it in, you're gonna be emptying this tray quite a bit. Now, I do find that I'm emptying the tray quite a bit and don't let it get too full because then it makes a big mess when you're emptying the tray. So keep an eye on the drip tray. So the milk frother, you know, I would have liked to have seen this to come off a little easier, but it makes absolutely nice hot steamed milk and the froth that it makes is really, really good. It's kind of like a fine foam on top of the milk um, and it just, it does a really good job, I think. Okay, so let's go over some dimensions. Right at about 11 and a half inches tall. You know, with the milk frother installed, you're looking at about nine inches left to right. Front to back, you're looking at almost 12 and a half, 13 inches. Again, here's what the back looks like. The water reservoir is okay. It's got a nice big track. You got to put it in. Then the power switch is here. It is a three prong outlet. So the grinder is just a two prong, but the espresso machine is three prong. So yeah, I see why people like KitchenAid appliances. These, these, this grinder is my absolute favorite grinder right now. And it is so nicely paired with this espresso machine. Um, and I wish I would have gotten red for the espresso machine, but that the metal one is a little bit higher. So if you take your time and dial it in, this will be a really nice espresso machine. If there's any other machines you'd like to, for me to review, um, leave them in the comments down below. If you hit the subscribe button right below my video, there is a subscribe button. And if you hit the little bell button, you'll get a notification when I release a new video. I do appreciate everybody's support. I bought these products with my own money. Um, I will put links to them in the show description notes. I did buy them off of Amazon. If you click on the link, it will take you to Amazon. I do get some money from that click if you end up buying the product, but the product doesn't cost you anymore. So these little double wall espresso cups, I'll put a link to them in the show description notes. I thought they worked really well. I'll put a link to this knock box. This knock box worked really well. Cafe Bastilio, you can find this at, at grocery stores, but it is on Amazon also. It comes pre-ground. These are whole bean coffees. Um, these are a little harder to find. I did find all three of these on Amazon. This one was especially hard. This is this was like Amazon's number one best-selling coffee bean, so I had to get it. Um, I, it was hard for me to tell a difference. This one might have been a little bit of a darker roast, but all three of these taste really good. They're kind of a smooth flavor for when you're making espresso. Yeah, this one took like took like a month to come in, but these were readily in stock. So again, thanks everybody for your support. Again, if you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.